Hello, this is Dave Gleason with an orchard update. It's now December and the trees are really starting to go to sleep. They've been losing their leaves and changing from a very vigorous, busy time of year to a very quiet time of year. Now this is, I have to say, one of my more favorite times of year because the trees aren't talking to me where most of the rest of the growing season, they're talking about the wind, the heat, the cold, the insects and disease that can attack them, windy conditions, uh, too much sunshine, and we have to mitigate all those things through the growing season. But right now, uh, we're looking at the structure. As the leaves come off the trees, we can see the limbs much more clearly than we can when they're covered by the leaves. And uh, the leaves themselves tell us a lot about the health of the tree. If they're large and green, of course, that means they're healthy. If they're smaller, or sometimes they can have different color striations that might indicate some types of nutrient disorders or a lack of a particular uh, type of nutrition. So they might be low in nitrogen or boron or uh, magnesium, lots of different things that the leaves tell us. So again, this is a very quiet time of year. And I like to look at the structure at this time of year. One of the things we'll be doing soon is pruning. We have to look carefully at the buds in the tree and uh, enough buds give us a good crop. There's two kinds of buds in a tree. There's those that produce leaves each year and also those that produce flowers. And for a particular tree, we need a certain number of flowers to have a good solid crop. If we don't have enough flowers, we won't have enough apples. So this time of year, as we're pruning, we look carefully at what percentage of buds are flowers and what percentage are leaves. And then we try to adapt our pruning to either reduce the number of flowers or enhance the number of flowers if we think that it's uh, uh, short, where we'll prune in a way that leaves as many buds as possible. Of course, if we have too many flowers, then there's too much competition for the nutrients in the tree between the apples, and the apples will be smaller, and then they will be also less red, and sometimes it even affects the flavor if there's too many apples on the tree. So it's a process that we start even this time of year to look at the potential crop load on the tree and to adjust that with our pruning. And then through the season, we use other techniques as well by hand uh, to look at that number of fruit and balance it carefully to get the apples spaced through the tree to the level we want and also the number of apples per tree. So one of the things I do is uh, take buds and cut them. Uh, at times we take samples and take them in and look at them under a microscope and get percentages so that we'll have a good idea of how to adjust that. Today it's snowing a little bit. It's very beautiful and again it's very quiet. So uh, happy holidays to everyone. Hope that you have an excellent time with family and friends and I uh, hope you're also eating lots of Autumn Glory apples. They are excellent this year. Thank you.